In this video, I want to take a closer look at how knowledge in the form of innovation, creativity, new ideas become money. So there are three themes to understand. Creativity or the production of new ideas. Innovation, which is the reduction of those ideas to practices, techniques, and sometimes technologies. And then commercialization, which is what takes the embodiment of these ideas, which then become practical knowledge, and scales them up to create revenues, customers, and profits. The entire process of creativity, innovation, and commercialization could be called entrepreneurship. And I don't mean entrepreneurship like becoming a small business person, opening up a Kentucky Fried Chicken franchise, not the same kind of entrepreneurship that I'm talking about. I'm talking more about Peter Thiel's zero to one, something that no one has ever done before, a new idea which then has to be put into practice, technique or technology, and then creates entirely new product lines or markets that no one has ever done before. This process is one that Nonaka would call a knowledge management process because it starts with the idea and then the knowledge has to be converted into a different type of knowledge, this practice or this technique, and then finally, into a product, a software service, something that can be for sale. The knowledge over on the left edge of this diagram is called tacit. Tacit knowledge is extremely difficult to share. It's extremely difficult to describe because it's embodied, if at all, in experience. Tacit knowledge is the idea, the abstract, the thing that can't be described. Whereas on the other side, we have explicit knowledge. Explicit knowledge is that knowledge which can be codified, reproduced, expressed in words or symbols or math or software code, like a book. So tacit knowledge would be the way your dinner tastes. Explicit knowledge would be the recipe to make the dinner. And you know that to go from tacit to explicit requires a certain kind of expertise to take that thing which is experiential, which can't be described in words, and then represent it in a symbolic language like math, uh, like words, like language. And you know that going the other way also requires some expertise. We might have the recipe and still make a dinner that doesn't taste very good. The same recipe in the hands of two different cooks can result in very different tacit experiences. I want to introduce you to a new way of thinking about creativity, innovation, and commercialization called the Wheel of Knowledge. Nonaka gave us a series of knowledge conversion processes. He called these socialization, externalization, commercialization, oh, sorry, uh, combination, and internalization. And a PH, former PhD student of mine and I have rearranged these to be socialization, externalization, internalization, and then combination. Because we think that this arrangement of knowledge conversion processes is a better representation of what happens in the conversion of ideas into profits. Socialization is when you're sharing experiences and ideas, when you share the dinner with others. Tacit knowledge is converted to tacit knowledge in your companions. Whereas externalization is when you convert tacit knowledge to explicit. This is when you write down your recipe and you share it with others. Internalization is when the explicit is converted back to the tacit. Someone else gets your recipe and they decide they want to try that recipe at home. And they follow the directions in the recipe and then they taste the food, which gives them the tacit experience that you started with. And then finally, combination is explicit to explicit. By this time, you've gone through several iterations of the externalization, internalization loop, 
which is typical of design. Maybe modified the recipe, maybe modified the prototype, maybe modified the simulation. And when you feel like you've got it right, or at least close enough, and you're ready to go to market, now you need to combine the ingredients, perhaps in the factory or in the assembly line, in a way that is efficient, where a socialization can be wasteful, to produce a product at a larger scale for sale. Here, we've had the experience of the new food. We externalize that experience in the form of a recipe. Other people test the recipe and they see what it tastes like. We perfect the recipe by going through the design loop. And then finally, we buy a bunch of ingredients in accordance with the recipe, reproduce the recipe so that each expression of the meal is identical. And we do this at scale in a way that turns the idea into profit. That is the wheel of knowledge.